This easy to tie and extremely buggy fly pattern is one of my favorites to use for brook trout. To tie it, we'll secure our thread to the hook shank and grab some hollow tinsel. Here I'm using medium in the color red. Secure the holographic tinsel to the hook shank, wrapping well in to the bend of the hook. At which point we'll reverse our thread's direction, grab our hollow tinsel, and begin to wrap it forward in closed touching spirals, doing so to add a bit of a hot spot to the back of our fly. While here I'm using red, you can use whatever color you prefer. Another favorite of mine is orange. Continue wrapping it forward. Once we've covered up part of the bend of our hook, we'll secure the tinsel in place, snip the excess free, and paint it over with some UV resin, adding some shine and durability to our pattern. With this complete, we'll then grab some small wire, here I'm using the color rust, insert it into our bead, and secure it tightly in place, once again wrapping back towards the bend of our hook, making sure to leave some of our hot spot exposed. Next, we'll grab some hairs here. Here I've created a blend of natural, brown, black, and a touch of synthetic hairs here. However, you can use whatever blend you like. We'll blend these together, creating a custom dubbing blend, before creating a dubbing noodle and wrapping it forward in closed touching spirals, continuing to add or tighten the dubbing noodle as needed. Additionally, we'll build up a transition as we work up towards the bead, stopping just short of the bead to leave some room for the following steps. At which point, we'll grab our wire and begin counter wrapping the dubbing in open spirals in order to add some segmentation as well as increase the pattern's durability. Once you reach your thread, secure it in place, taking thread wraps both in front as well as behind before helicoptering the excess free. At which point we'll brush it out to give it that nice buggy look. Next, we'll grab our same dubbing blend, create another dubbing noodle, and spin this just in front of our body. With this complete, we'll take a few thread wraps in front of it, and brush it out to give it a nice, buggy look. This will help add some additional buggy fibers sticking out, but will also help in our next step to prop up our materials. With this complete, we'll create a dubbing loop and grab our same dubbing blend, but this time we'll add some ice dubbing. Mix it up, insert it into your dubbing loop, and spin it up. Brush it out before folding the fibers backwards and spinning it around the head of the fly. You can do this for one to three turns before securing it tightly in place, taking thread wraps both in front as well as behind and snipping your excess free. And of course brush everything out to give it that nice buggy look. Color in your thread to match your bead and hot spot, paint it over with some UV resin, and whip finish to hold it all together. And this is an extremely buggy fly pattern that I particularly like to use for brook trout. However, its generalistic nature will work well for any fish. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.